in last class, we talked about the work energy principle and the impulse momentum equation for a system of particles. From work energy theorem, under the condition that the net force acting from outside on the system is 0, we can derive a principle called conservation of linear momentum. This is a part or a corollary of impulse momentum equation, which states that whenever a net force acts on a particle, the particle accelerates. Its momentum will keep on changing. We can conserve the linear momentum of the particle only when the particle will experience no net force. This impulse momentum equation is applied for a particle. We can call this as Newton's second law in integral form. Now, we can extend this idea of impulse momentum equation for a system of particles. Then we can use the conservation of mechanical energy for a system of particles to solve some mechanical problems. Let us take a simplest system comprising two particles, particle 1 and particle 2. Let us assume that a force acts on the particle 1 from outside. When this is the system containing these two particles, this system experiences a force from outside. This force may act on the particle 1, this force may act on the particle 2. We can say that the system is acted upon by an external force. For a time interval t. The impulse of the force F acting on the system is given as impulse is equal to the time integral of the applied force. We can call it net impulse because this is the net force acting on the system from outside. The net impulse is equal to change in momentum of the system. This is what we call impulse momentum equation. This is none other than Newton's second law in integral form. We are applying impulse momentum equation for a system of particle. Impulse momentum equation for a system of particles, which says that the net impulse is equal to change in momentum of 
the system. If the net force acting on the system from outside or net external force or external force because net internal force is always 0. Sum of all internal force is always 0. Therefore, the net force acting on the system is the net external force is equal to 0. Impulse of this force, external force acting on the system will be equal to 0. Then, the change in momentum of the system will be equal to 0. In other words, you can say that the momentum of the system will remain constant. The momentum of the system will remain constant. This is what we call conservation of linear momentum of the system of particle using this principle and the principle of conservation of energy along with the principle of conservation of linear momentum, we would like to solve some interesting problems.